What's up, sons? It's Blydrod with Son of Tech once again, and today we have some big news. Ethermine has started to enable MEV, basically allowing all of the front-running software to interact with the pool and get the miners additional rewards. We're going to talk about it and some of the other pools that have that option now as well right after a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. From my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATEC at sign up for a 50% bonus. Welcome back. So, this one is pretty straightforward, guys. We've been talking about MEV, which is, I guess, maximal extracted value. I know that I've said minor extracted value in the past. That is how it was kind of initially mentioned as well as what the early articles had been calling it apparently now we are going to be officially calling it maximal extracted value so i guess that tells you how much thought went into it before this came out and we have an article here from coindesk which says essentially ethermine adds front running software to help miners offset eip 1559 revenue loss now that is what has been announced as the savior for miners in relation to EIP-1559 and the decreased block rewards due to the fee burning that will be happening. This is also happening in July in case you guys weren't up to date on when EIP-1559 is going into effect. But essentially the article goes through and says the Ethereum mining pool Ethermine introduced software that could mollify users. Mollify? I learned a new word today, mollify, to calm down. <laughs> Miners upset by a coming steep cut in mining fees by allowing them to eke out greater profit from each block mined. The Austria-based pool, which comprises some 20% of the Ethereum network's hash power, became the first majority pool to introduce a maximal extracted value software strategy to compensate for the upcoming mining reward reduction caused by the adoption of EIP-1559. Now the tweet here from Bitfly was announcing Ethermine MEV beta. So in order to compensate for the upcoming mining reward reduction caused by the adoption of EIP-1559, we have launched our MEV beta program. 80% of our MEV revenue will be distributed alongside the mining block rewards. 80%, so not 100%. I don't know if that's an additional 20% dev fee to the pool, which is quite curious, but keep that in mind. It does say that 5% will be used to support the ecosystem via Gitcoin grants. The remaining amount will be used for further development of their MEV strategies. In total, they expect an increase of 1% to 10% in mining rewards. And stay tuned for more. At this time, I did move some rigs over to Ethermine to go ahead and start seeing if we are going to be increasing, of course, the reward. And at this point, I guess since it's in beta, it's not quite rolled out. We're still getting about the same ETH, actually a little bit less because I do have one rig that I moved to Ravencoin that we will be talking about in the near future. And we are at about 0.13 ETH a day. That's actually quite a bit lower than Flexpool. So I think Flexpool actually has this in a little bit faster because we were with 2.7 getting about 2 ETH a day. You see here we had the 18th of March 1, 0.1 ETH, 0.1 ETH, two payouts for 0.1 ETH. And then on the 17th, I don't know, it's about... You know, we had a really good day, I think, on the 18th. So it's kind of up in the air, I suppose. I do feel like we were getting a little, a few more payouts. I think the 15th of March was insane. We had like 0.3 ETH on the 15th. Yeah, that was incredible. So just kind of some things to think about. Both of these pools are PPLNS 
Both of them now support, of course, uh, MEV with Flexpool probably being a little bit ahead of the game as far as MEV goes. So just keep all of that stuff in mind. Now, what are my thoughts on MEV? Obviously, they're doing the front running portion because the front running portion is the only thing that you could really automate into the system. For the back running portion of MEV, like we've discussed before, that would have to be an off-chain deal that the pool makes with somebody else, a, tra a, a group of traders to essentially get their reward in right after an Oracle update. And that is a little bit more ethically gray area. However, we do have to mention, of course, that the front running is pretty gray as well. We have been kind of reviewing how it's been being used recently, and it is basically being used to sandwich out basically big whale investments where they adjust the price by inserting a basically a borrowed amount of ETH in a transaction before the big whale comes in so they can make more money off of that whale for transaction fees and then selling it back. It's not the greatest thing in the world for Ethereum in general, in my humble opinion, but as a miner, obviously, if you need to you know, keep the lights on, maximize your profits then obviously you have some options you have ethermine you have flex pool you have spider pool and you have uu pool to a lesser extent so those are kind of the options that you have for that run front running sort of deal going on which is basically sandwiching whale transactions in between two other pool adjusting transactions i just i don't know what to tell you all i don't like it let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Obviously, we are going to utilize it as miners to make extra money, I suppose. And that's the way it goes. <laughs> but I don't think that this is a good path forward for Ethereum. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.